Today we will see the practical overview of a circuit breaker wiring and how to read its wiring schedule in a 66 kV SF6 gas circuit breaker. So first of all we will see the overview of a circuit breaker by side by side comparison with its wiring diagram where Y1 is the closing coil, Y2 and Y3 are the tripping coils as shown here. Now as we move downwards K1 is the anti-pumping relay. K2, K3, K4, K5 are the gas supervision relays. K6 and K7 are the DC failure relays. Below that, we have fuses or MCB denoted by F as shown here. And at the bottom, we have selector switch S12 and TNC switch S13 shown in both the circuit breaker and the wiring diagram side by side. And at last we have terminal block X1 shown on the right side with number of terminals number and terminal block X3 on the left hand side. So it gets completed and now we try to learn how to read its wiring schedule. In this given network diagram we will learn how to read and identify terminal its terminal block and wiring pair rules. Always remember three things. First, the numeric digit shown always represents the terminal. Second, the alphabet written closest to the numeric digit with a nod represents the terminal block. And last, the connecting branch of the network represents the wiring fair rule. From this, we can say that DC positive is given or terminal number 1 of TBX1 having wiring ferrule J1 and DC negative on terminal 2 TBX1 wiring ferrule J2. Similarly, remote close on terminal 9 TBX1 wiring ferrule K11. Remote trip 1 on terminal 10 TBX1 wiring ferrule K21. Remote trip 2 on terminal 11 TBX1 wiring ferrule K31. Then post close trip circuit supervision 1 on terminal 12 TBX1 ferrule K22. Pre close trip circuit supervision 1 on terminal 13 TBX1 ferrule K26. Similarly, post close trip circuit 2 on terminal 14 TBX1 ferrule K32. And pre close trip circuit supervision 2 on terminal 15 TBX1 ferrule K36. And last, SF6 gas density monitor is given on terminal 16 to 21 on TBX1. Now we will see indication wiring taken from circuit breaker to the control room for SF6 gas pressure normal. It will be taken from terminal 23 TBX1 ferrule L2. SF6 gas pressure low terminal 33 TBX1 ferrule L8. SF6 gas blocking terminal 25. TBX1 ferrule L4, DC failure 1 TBX1 terminal 40 ferrule L18, DC failure 2 terminal 42 TBX1 ferrule L20, spring charge indication on terminal 44 TBX1 ferrule L14. For circuit breaker indication, it has to be taken from the auxiliary contacts because it changes its contacts as per circuit breaker switching. For circuit breaker trip, terminal 102 TBX3 ferrule U22, circuit breaker on terminal 104 TBX3 ferrule U24, semaphore on terminal 108 TBX3 ferrule U34, semaphore off terminal 106 TBX3 ferrule U32. With this, it completes the wiring schedule of a SF6 gas 66 kV circuit breaker. You must remember that the company make or the wiring connection of different circuit breaker can be different. But in all these videos, we have learned the basic concept and the logic that will always remain the same. So try to apply that and always stay tuned. So for more upcoming videos, keep on like, subscribe and share.